Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be looking at how to draw the development of lateral surfaces of solids. Development is nothing but the unfolding of the lateral surfaces of a solid. Let's try and understand with an example. Let's imagine that there is one hollow cylinder having a diameter of a base 50 mm and an axis height 100 mm. If we cut this cylinder along its axis and unfold it or say develop it, the shape of this developed surface of the cylinder will look like a rectangle, which will have a length equal to the circumference of a cylinder and a breadth equal to the height of a cylinder. So this rectangle which we see is nothing but a development of a lateral surface of a cylinder. So I hope now you understood what exactly the development of lateral surfaces. Now let's look at the problem statement which we will solve in this video. Following figure shows the elevation of a cut cone cut by an auxiliary inclined plane draw development of lateral surfaces of cone removing the portion containing apex. In this figure, an elevation means the front view of cone is given where the base diameter is 60 mm and the height of a cone is 80 mm. Point O is an apex and AIP is shown in such a way that it is parallel to the right side generator of a cone and it is 12 mm away from it. Sometimes the position of an auxiliary inclined plane will be described in the problem statement very specifically. So we need to understand the position of an auxiliary inclined plane given in the problem statement and then we need to draw an auxiliary inclined plane in the front view according to the problem statement given. However, in this particular problem statement, the position of an AIP is directly shown and you need to draw as it is. So basically, what is given in this figure is the front view of a cone with an AIP which cuts a cone. Alright, whenever we solve any problem of the development of lateral surfaces of solids, we always start by drawing the top view of a solid. And in this problem statement, given solid is a cone. So, just imagine that if you look at a cone from top, how does it appear from top? Yes. You can see the base of a cone which will appear as a circle and an apex which will be the center of a circle. So let's start by drawing a top view of a cone which will be a circle. Here the diameter of the base given is 60 mm. So draw a circle having diameter of 60 mm. And to mark an apex. Let's draw one faint horizontal line and the vertical line passing through the center of a circle and this intersection of these two lines is the apex of a cone. Let's name this point as O. Now to draw a front view of a cone which will appear as a triangle, draw projectors from a circle in upward direction like this and draw a base that will appear as a horizontal straight line in the front view like this. Now to mark an apex in the front view, draw a projector from point O in an upward direction. This is the line of an axis of a cone and on this line we will mark an apex at 80 mm away from the base and name it as O dash. Now connect this apex O dash with these points with straight line. These two lines are 
generators of a cone. In order to draw a perfect shape of development, we need to have more number of generators and to get these generators, we will divide our circle into 8 equal parts. To save the time, I am dividing this into 8 equal parts. But if you want a more perfect shape of a development, then you can divide the circle into 12 parts also. For now, let's divide our circle into 8 parts like this. And let's name the points on the circumference of a circle as A, B, C, D, E, and finally H. So in the top view, you can see OA, OB, OC, OD, till OF, all are the generators of a cone. Now, it's time to show all these generators in the front view as well. And to do that, let's take the projectors from all these points towards the front view. From point A, we already have a projector drawn and this projector intersect with the base at a point and let's name that point as A dash. Next. Take a common projector from B and H and name the point as B dash comma H dash. Similarly, just above C and G, we get C dash and G dash. Take a common projector from points D and F. Name the point on this projector in the front view as D dash comma F dash. And finally, here A dash. Now connect all these points on the base with an apex O dash in front view. And here we got all generators in the front view. Before we introduce a cutting plane, which is an AIP in the front view, let's draw a regular or say normal development first. And to do that, Draw a faint horizontal line of any random length from an apex and the base in front view towards the right, like this. Then draw a parallel line in between these two projectors, parallel to the rightmost generator. Name an apex here as O dash. Now, if you imagine how the developed surface of a cone will look like, then you can understand it will look like a sector of a circle, like this. Now, to draw this, we must know how much is this angle of a sector. And to calculate it, we will use a formula which is theta equals to small r upon capital R into 360 degrees where small r is the radius of the base and capital R is equal to the slant length of a cone. So here we know that the radius of the base which is small r is equal to 30 mm and capital R which is equal to the slant length we can measure that slant length in the front view. Here it will be 85 mm. So in this way, we can calculate an angle of a sector. Here, after calculation, the value of an angle we get is 127 degrees. The next step is to draw a line at an angle which we just calculated, that is 127 degrees. Now, with the center O dash, and radius equal to this slant length, draw an arc in between these two lines. Here we got a simple development of a cone. Now in this development, we need to show all the generators from OA to OH. And to do this, 
we need to divide the sector into eight equal parts. Remember, we are dividing the sector into eight equal parts just because we have divided the circle into eight equal parts. To divide the sector into eight equal parts, take the distance of a point A to B in top view and transfer this distance on an arc and plot the points one by one to get eight equal parts of a sector. Once you get the points, name these points as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash and again A dash. Remember, OA will be the common generator when you try to fold this developed surface of a cone back again. So initial and the final generator will be the same and here we named it as O dash A dash. Alright, now connect all these points with an apex O dash like this. So we have all generators on this developed surface of a cone. Note that this is not a final development. So we will keep this simple development faint. Once we get final shape of developed surface, we will make it dark. Perfect. Now it's time to bring an AIP into the picture. So in given data, an AIP is parallel to the rightmost generator and 12 mm away from it. So to draw an AIP in front view, draw a faint perpendicular line to the rightmost generator from any point on the generator, like this. Then on this perpendicular line, mark one point at a distance of 12 mm. From this point, draw a parallel line parallel to the rightmost generator. Here we have an AIP. Show it in a cutting plane line pattern. Next step is to mark the points of intersection of this AIP line with generators of a cone. So here we can see that an AIP is intersecting with generator O dash A dash at this point. Let's name it as PA. Next point of intersection is with second line which represents two generators that is O dash P dash and O dash H dash. So name the point of intersection as P B comma P H. Next point would be P C comma P G. Now here is a catch. You can see that AIP is intersecting with base of a cone and we need to take that point into consideration. So let's name it as M dash comma N dash and connect this point with an apex O dash like this. So actually what we have done here is we have shown two new generators in front view which are O dash M dash and O dash N dash. And we have to show these generators in top view as well. And not only in the top view, we have to show these generators on a simple development which we drawn earlier. To show these new generators in top view, draw projectors from M dash comma N dash in downward direction towards the top view. Name the point of intersection of this projector on the circumference of a circle as M and N respectively. And connect these points with an apex O like this. So here we have shown generators OM and ON in top view. Now finally, we have to show them on a simple development. And to do that, we need to think logically. 
See, in top view, generator O amp is in between OC and OD. So here on developed surface, the generator O dash M dash should lie between O dash C dash and O dash D dash. So point M dash will lie on this arc in between point C dash and D dash. But exactly where? We need to figure it out. Let's look at position of M in top view. Take a compass and take the distance of point M from D and transfer this distance on an arc from point D dash. Here we get exact location of point M dash. Connect M dash with O dash and apply the same logic and follow the same method to mark another point which is N dash. Once we get N dash, connect N dash with O dash like this and we have generator O dash N dash. Now we are only two steps away to get a solution. The points of intersection of AIP with generators and the base which we have marked in front view we need to transfer all these points on this developed surface. And to do this, draw a faint horizontal lines from all these points towards right till it intersects with slant length of developed surface. Like this. Then with O dash as a center and this as a radius, draw an arc. Again, with O dash as a center and this as a radius, draw second arc. Next radius will be this and draw a third arc. Now, it's time to mark the points on this simple development. In the front view, we can see that a point PA is on the generator O dash A dash. So on this developed surface, that point PA will lie on the O dash A dash and its exact location on O dash A dash is here at the intersection of the projector coming from PA and generator O dash A dash. Note that we have O dash A dash at the end also. So mark a point PA here as well. Similarly, PB and PH are lying on O dash B dash and O dash H dash respectively. So look for the intersection of the projector coming from PB and a generator O dash B dash. And here we have exact location of a point PB. Also, PH on O dash H dash. I hope now you understood the logic behind marking the points on the development. After we get all the points, connect all these points with a smooth curve like this. Finally, only dark the region which is left after cutting a cone except generators like this and yes don't forget to give all necessary dimensions perfect dear friends that's all for this video i hope you enjoy watching this video see you in the next video till then stay happy and keep learning